pregnancy and embryonic development. Completion of implantation results in a finger-like projections appearing on the trophoblast called chorionic villi which are surrounded by the uterine tissues and maternal blood. Placenta The chorionic villi and uterine tissue join with each other and jointly form a structural and functional unit between developing embryo, fetus and maternal body called placenta. Basically, the placenta has two parts from the point of view of its origin. These are fetal placenta by the extra embryonic membranes of the embryo and maternal placenta provided by the endometrium of the uterus. Placenta can be classified into various categories based on their origin, on their morphological structure, on the distribution of villi and also on their histological structure. Maternal blood flows into the placental intervillous space where solutes, nutrients, oxygen diffuse across the transporting epithelium to the fetal circulation while fetal metabolic waste products are removed. The separation of circulation helps to control solute transport and protects the fetus from toxins. Not only this, but it also protects the fetus from the maternal immune system. The placenta also manipulates maternal physiology through the production of hormones. Human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG, human placental lactogen, HPL, as well as the steroid hormones estrogen and progesterone. The embryonic stage The embryonic stage lasts from the end of the germinal stage to two months after conception. The developing ball of cells is now called an embryo. Embryo is an organism in the early stages of development. Embryonic Development In human beings, the developing organisms from conception until approximately the end of the eight-week second month is called embryo. Fetus is the unborn young one of a viviparous animal after it has taken form in the uterus. In human beings, an embryo is called fetus from the end of the eight week till birth. The first sign of growing fetus may be noticed by listening to the heart sound carefully through the stethoscope. Moving further end of the second month of pregnancy, the fetus develops limbs and digits. By the end of first trimester, most of the major organ systems are formed. For example, the limbs and the external genital organs are well developed. Fifth month is marked by the appearance of hair on the head. By the end of 24 weeks, Second trimester, the body is covered with fine hair, eyelids separate and eyelashes are formed. By the end of nine months of pregnancy, the fetus is fully developed and is ready for delivery.